Good, good morning. Today is Thursday, May 14th, when we celebrate the Apostle St. Matthias in our liturgy. And so, in thinking about this uh, Apostle, this one who took the place of Judas, I think of how God was working in not just the Old Testament, but the New Testament church. I always think about GPS. You know, I don't pay much attention to that stuff, but when you're riding in a car with someone, they have the GPS on. The voice comes on, and you're going along, and it tells you where to turn and all those kind of things. And when you miss a turn, the voice very patiently says, well, now we'll recalculate and we reset the route. And so it does, and it tells you what to do uh, after that. Well, that's how God worked throughout the Old Testament, with the imperfection of the, of the uh, people. Uh, they, they were faithful one time and lost their faithfulness, got distracted and things like that. And he just reset the agenda so that he would bring them back after they strayed away. The lost sheep as a community would be brought back. We see it happening in the New Testament church today. And so it's appropriate that at the beginning of church history, after Judas made the big mistake, the big turn when he uh, put Jesus uh, uh, in the, the grip of the uh, Jewish leaders and the Romans, uh, and then he ended his life. It was a tragedy. Well, the church had to take another turn back in the positive direction. So before Pentecost, uh, the Holy Spirit instructed the apostles to choose a, a 12th person, that 12 being such an important number, the 12 tribes of Israel and the 12 apostles reflecting that. And so they needed to find someone who was faithful from the beginning when Jesus was baptized in the Jordan River, a part of the community uh, ever since. And St. Matthias was chosen by the Holy Spirit. The gospel today says, uh, Jesus says, instead I call you friends, since I may know to you all that I've heard from my Father. It was not you who chose me, it was I who chose you to go forth and to bear fruit, your fruit must endure. God chose through the apostles Saint Matthias to be that apostle to take the 12th place. And in that choice, Matthias said yes. He accepted God's choice. He was willing to cooperate. He was willing to be a part of that community on this bigger level. Now for us, when we go through life, we'll miss turns now and then. We make a mistake of selfishness. We make a mistake of indifference. We make a mistake of being distracted. And we get far away from God sometimes. When we discover it, that GPS, God is saying, okay, now make a turn here, turn around and come back. Go to confession, confess your sins, or, or uh, just repent for the mistakes you have made. Because it wasn't you who chose me, it was I who chose you. And even though you are not always faithful to that choice, God is telling us, he says, I'm always there ready to bring you back. And so in St. Matthias, we hear in this gospel today, it was not we who chose this path, but God who chose us. And we then have said yes to that choice. And when we make the mistakes, the Lord challenges us and brings us back to uh, producing good fruit uh, for the sake of the kingdom. Amen.